Hello, everyone. In a recent issue of Canadian Family Physician, my colleague Roger Ladouceur published an editorial lamenting the growth of focused practices in family medicine. In response, some readers defended their choices to practice emergency medicine on a full-time basis, for example. Others commented on the lack of appreciation for generalist family physicians and what would be lost if their ranks were to disappear. This feeds into something that has been on my mind lately, which is the role we family physicians play as clinical leaders. To me, this includes recognizing the responsibility we have to meet the needs of the communities we serve. And this is something that requires broader discussion on the part of the entire profession. It used to be that family medicine was promoted as a career choice that allowed our practices to evolve over the span of several decades. These changes usually occurred in response to demographics of each community and our own evolving skills. It is still true today. However, now it seems that the explosion of focused practices within family medicine is often driven by either lifestyle or financial considerations or a physician's desire to avoid certain services, such as providing interpartum care, for example. We are not public servants, but as physicians, we are given the privilege to do what we do by society. Our duty is to encourage good health, care for the sick, and accompany our patients on their journey. That is our contract, if you will, with the public we serve. I want to emphasize that I absolutely support the development of enhanced skills in family medicine. After all, I was a GP anesthetist for almost 20 years myself. However, we need to remember that the pursuit of these skills should be based primarily on the needs of the community. If we don't live up to patients' expectations, then someone else will, and we as family doctors risk being left out of the picture. I think as a profession, we are training family doctors well. Our training standards are evolving, and we are informed by, among other things, a survey our residents complete at the start and end of residency and in the first few years of their practice. In addition to the focused skill sets that family physicians may choose to pursue, let's not lose sight of the broad scope of skills that we are trained in to provide care for our patients. I would like to hear your thoughts about the role of family physicians as clinical leaders. I realize that I have touched here only on some elements of this important team. Please post a comment here or contact me by email or Twitter. And until the next time, take good care.